Accuse me of our APE. Okay, enjoy your time in jail. Before the whole mess starts, I want to apologize for my English, but it's not my first language and I will try my best. So I have been with my ex-G, not real name, for four years and between us everything was fine. We were in love for most of our time and we rarely argued because of similar interests and hobbies. Our family went along well and we were about to start living together. I was searching for a house big enough for us and why not with more rooms for our future kids. At that time we were already living together at one of my parents' houses but it was small and made only for one. In that house I had many security cameras because of a past trauma with thieves inside my family house when I was a kid so I wanted to be sure that my house was protected enough. Long story short I found out my ex, I a and not real name for obvious reasons, was cheating on me and I found it out through the security cameras. I broke up with her immediately and the idea of forgiving her never crossed my mind for a second. To my POV cheaters have zero credibility and when they promise to change they are lying and so I never forgave her and not even listened to her reasons and excuses but just blocked her and ghosted her. She spent months trying to reach me out, contacting me with fake numbers, making their friends writing me texts and calls to forgive her but I always blocked the numbers and ignored her. After three months like this everything finally stopped and I thought that it was the end of it but for God's sake not at all. At that time I was working as a lawyer and things were going pretty well for me and I was making myself a name with big clients when a day the police arrived in my office and arrested me. I and my colleagues were in shock because to the police officers I was accused of a sexual abuse and stalking on my ex. There I realized that she was a crazy lying bitch. Useless to say I lost my work and my credibility and I had to go to the trial and defend myself from this false accusations. Fortunately it went out after a month that it was all a lie and I brought many proofs, calls and texts that actually she was the one stalking me and harassing me for breaking up with her because she cheated on me. She was sentenced to give me a ridiculous compensation, just a few thousand dollars and some hours of social services. I mean when I heard the sentence I thought out of some kind of joke and in fact I laughed at it but it was all fucking true. So I started another legal war against her for a false rape accusations with the aggravations of premeditation and malicious compliance. I hope that a malicious compliance are the right words. Just to add one more thing my parents were always at my side and never belivied her while her parents tried to defend her always even when she was first sentenced for the ridiculous compensation in the hours of social services. The case took two years to be solved when finally she was sentenced to eight years in jail, no a good behavior clause, uh, and this time a more appropriate compensation, around 200k. But you know I'm not happy about this because for how much I wanted my revenge no legal study wanted to hire me because of this. My case was pretty famous in my country, so I was obliged to change country. And here I'm finally telling someone this awful story of my life. Justice was served, but not at all because I still remember those days where I practically sent my CV to every legal studio of my country, but no one wanted me because of my reputation A, and for how much I'm happy about my ex being in jail my reputation it would never be clean again, and I will forever suffer for this.